Last week there was a fire right here. And this is what happened today. Another big fire burned like at least five tens. So he's yelling at me because I've been filming them. I'm just wondering how a fire like this starts. And as you can see, the city actually provides new trash cans, but I don't think they really use them. Channel 7, Eyewitness News. The place where the fire was, that was in Culver City, the 405, underneath the bridge. And this is literally like a few blocks from the beach here. And the people that own this place, you can see in between, they have all those cactuses right there. And they were hoping the homeless people could not set up there, but they kind of like set their tent up and everything around it. Welcome to the one and only iconic Venice Beach, California. El Venice. The Eyewitness News, Channel 4, Channel 7, everybody's here because of this. So this is a pilot program. They assigned a fast response fire engine down to Venice Beach seven days a week. They go up and down the boardwalk every single day to respond to little fires caused by homeless encampments or other problems. So the big fire department doesn't have to come out here for little things. They have a paramedic in the car. They have fire hoses. And it's a new program that just started today. German in Venice does not know what all those buttons are for. German in Venice should go for a ride here, up and down the boardwalk. People ask me, please do an update on Venice Beach homeless encampment. We got some news. We got bad news and we got good news. The handball courts are disinfected, painted, and ready to use. People are enjoying it already. The basketball hoops are finally open. And you can see people playing already. And of course, LAPD had to try it too. Good shot. Also, they put down the ring so you can swing on it again and in the background you see people working out. No more homeless encampments right in front of the tennis wall. The pedal tennis are open. There we go. Bam! Bam! They're making it look nice. Put some new grass in here. Even the police is out on the horses. And more horses. This is Clubhouse Avenue where the house burned down with the dog inside. So the homeless encampments are down the street right here. There was like a big trash can right here. And this is the house that was on fire where the dog died inside the house. And it was arson, they say. And I don't want to say who caused it, but most likely they say it was people from the homeless encampment. Really sad to see that something like this had to happen. And that poor dog that died inside. There are not too many tents right here in the heart of Venice. It's more down towards Santa Monica. Hey. And now you can see why they put the FR9 fire engine out because every time a phone call is, there has to be an ambulance, there has to be fire engine, and there also have to be police there. So now they have this new fire engine which can respond really quick because it's just going up and down the boardwalk. And of course today the news was there and that's why the fire engine was not here today. Not too much has changed on this side yet. Mike Bonin, the council member, is still trying to get the homeless people off the beach and put them somewhere in the parking lot, either in Will Rogers State Park, Dogweiler Beach or Marina Del Rey. But from what I read too, they have one hotel at the LAX International Airport 
where they're gonna try to house some of the homeless people from Venice Beach. And since Los Angeles is in the yellow tier, Governor Newsom wants to open up everything by June 15. So that's right when summer is around the corner and something has to be done because in the summertime, Venice Beach gets over 10 million visitors. The news just put an article out that says Venice Beach is crippled. They compared the year 2020 last year compared to 2021 this year. The boardwalk area robberies are up to 271% higher than last year. Aggravated assaults are up 105%. And burglaries around the area is up 148%. Violent crimes involving an unhoused person as a suspect or a victim are up more than 75%. Violent robberies are up 177%. Wow. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff happening down here in Venice Beach that never gets reported because nobody's there. If I'm on the other end than Venice Beach, I don't really know what's going on on the other side. So I think a lot of crimes are not reported. In the beginning of the pandemic, they counted about 50 tens on Venice Beach. And as of April count, I really don't know who counts it, but uh, some people counted it, I guess. They said there's over 250 tens now in Venice Beach. And I'm not really sure if the $12 billion that's supposed to go to the homeless in downtown Los Angeles are actually gonna help Venice Beach too, or was it only skid roll? LAPD is actually around and checking on people. Who's is here too? You see the trash can here on the left and the right? That's exactly where like about two weeks ago a shooting happened. A guy shot the homeless people right in the chest. The video is too graphic to show here on YouTube, but if you go to Twitter and type in Venice Beach Boardwalk, there's a lot of different videos what happened right here. And if you won't see it with your own eyes, you won't believe it what's going on here in Venice. Right here behind the trash can is where that tent exploded. And this is all documented because of this camera up here. Pretty good camera up there. You can really see good at night too. I don't know if it's a private person who owns it, but I think this is LAPD because they also have like speak on the side so if something goes wrong they're probably gonna talk through that speaker one more thing that changed is they used to pick up the trash every single day but they haven't been picking up trash for a while right now here in venice A lot of residents from Venice Beach demand that all the homeless people are gonna be removed from Venice Beach. That's what they wrote in the letter to the city. In the letter to the city, the residents say that the housing people for the senior housing are afraid to come out their building because the homeless encampment is right in front of the house. And it's probably not really the safest for them to walk with their walkers. You never know what's gonna happen. Also in the letter it says 
that it's too dangerous to bring the kids to the playground. The parents are afraid to let their kids play there because of all the homeless encampments around the playground. You can see that right here in the background. There's a few tents, but you also have to pass all the tents just to go to this playground. And another big problem is that some of the homeless people just gonna stay at the playground and sleep there. In the letter also was mentioned that all the business owners on the boardwalk restaurants and bars, I wanna get all this cleared off because that's the view the people have when they sit in the restaurant. And just imagine the smell. All the stuff that accumulated around there, tens, it's not really useful. It's just sitting there and nobody picks it up. And then there's Peter, one of the best artists down here in Venice Beach. Bumblebee! I always refer to the letter the people sent to the city. They say those are all spaces 10 by 10 for the artists down on the beach. And they say the homeless occupy all those spaces so the artists can really set up their art in Venice Beach. And that's what Venice Beach is actually known for. So this is the update I can give you. Not too much has changed. Hopefully in the future it will change for the better for the people on the boardwalk and the homeless people that live on the boardwalk. There's actually more police present today than usual. There's Nathan, he's still playing. Venice is getting back to normal. Well, I think this is the appropriate spot to end the video because he's a legend here in Venice. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. I see you next time. Just saying. Wait a second. Arnold never contacted me. Arnold, why are you not contacting me? I'm waiting for you. Just saying. <laughs>